hello and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time welcome thanks for joining us today and i hope you come back again and again so i'm just going to go ahead and get right into it i am going to be attempting to make a welcome sign now i am doing this literally from memory off of a video that i saw like a couple weeks ago it doesn't turn out to look anything like <laughs> what i saw but it 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 serves its purpose so I am starting by selecting text and making a line so in order to achieve this line I just use the little dash that's like after the 9 or the 0 on the keyboard and um, I resize it and because the Cricut mats are 12 inches and you can only do it like 11 and a half you know so that you don't go over the border that's the size that I make it now had I thought about it I would have made them different sizes but that's okay so I am doing blue and black and so I just change them in design space so that they don't all end up on the same mat when it's time to cut and just for reference I'm going to insert the picture of what I saw just so that you guys can see it now why I did not reference the picture when actually making the board I have no idea but that's kind of what I tend to do I come up with an idea and then I just try and figure it out um, I guess that's what creativity is all about and that's another reason why I don't really label my videos as tutorials because I'm just doing whatever it is I'm doing and giving you guys inspiration and giving you tips to how you can achieve something similar but I want you guys to always be creative always switch it up a little bit try something a little bit different because you never know what you might end up with so I ended up doing six blue lines and six black lines and they're 11 and a half inches wide and I think three tenths of an inch thick um, or for the height and so this is for a sweet 16 so I'm going to be writing welcome to Kadriana's sweet 16 I am sticking to all one font but feel free to mix it up do a plain text for welcome to and maybe cursive for the name you know try different things um, but for this one I just stuck to all the same font but I did um, have each line a different size So now that I have all of my um, words and font, I am going to select the entire thing. I'm going to click on a line and I'm going to center it horizontally. Um, so that way everything is in line and the way that I want it. 
it's better than trying to have to guess and then I'm going to click attach because I'm going to cut it that way on the mat if you do not click attach Cricut is going to place these words in any random order that they want to and you're gonna have to basically try to figure out how to put what so I like to attach it all so once I've cut and weeded every my poster board here and I am going to just start placing the lines in different um, different ways what is the word I'm looking for I don't know anyway I just start placing the lines trying to again go by memory of what I think I saw and just create something if you wanted you could actually do the layout and design space and have it cut you know the way that you want it but I just feel like it would waste a lot of vinyl um, so I you know just chose to do the six lines and it only took up about like four or five maybe not even three or four inches of vinyl that was it So this is what it's looking like after I finished placing all the lines and I actually ended up using the skinny lines that were in between each line like those separator lines I was able to use those to maximize the vinyl now here I have the welcome to Kajuan Suite 16 and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the poster Now you can just use your hand to press this down because it's attaching to the paper that's on this foam board. Um, but I like to use the scraper tool just to make sure it's all flat, there's no air bubbles, and it looks the best that it can look. So I chose to do lines on my board, but you could also, you know, Cut out flowers with your Cricut, cut out roses, cut out geometric shapes, cut out whatever you want. Um, I just wanted that geometric line look. Didn't get the exact look I was going for, but I am satisfied with, you know, the way it turned out. Also, if you wanted, you could make this a standing sign by gluing some foam like triangles to the back of the board to give it some feet. Um, it wouldn't be great for outside, especially if it's going to be windy, um, but for an indoor standing sign or like in a hallway or entryway, it could work. And here is the final product. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.